Meghan Markle is under fire for choosing to stay home with Archie and Lilibet instead of attending the coronation. The Duchess of Sussex has been accused of disrespecting King Charles and not being there for His Majesty on his big day, like he was there for her. Charles, of course, stepped in at the last minute to walk Meghan down the aisle at her wedding to Prince Harry. The coronation clashes with Archie's fourth birthday. For more, we're joined by ITV News Royal Editor Chris Ship. Morning, Chris. It's been labelled disrespectful. It's been labelled a snub. Was she ever going to win, though, whatever she did? Look, I, I think as far as some British tabloids are concerned, uh, they're very unlikely to write a positive story about Harry and Meghan. Some say that's uh, fair. Others would... Um, argue otherwise. Yeah, Harry is, of course, taking some of them to court. But, you know, you're showing pictures of the wedding there when uh, the then Prince Charles stood in for Meghan Markle at her wedding. I think it's fair to say a lot has happened since then. A lot of things have been said. Uh, a lot of Netflix series have been made and a lot of books have been written. Uh, and that's probably the main reason why she's not coming. Not really Archie's birthday. It's more about what's been said and whether or not uh, it would be a, a happy family reunion at the coronation. Well, Chris, put your finger on it for us. Do you think it would be the reception she would get from the public or the awkwardness, I guess, of being amongst the royal family? You know, it's difficult to say. We haven't really seen uh, Harry and Meghan very much in this country uh, since they departed the royal family. You remember we saw them uh, briefly at the Queen's Jubilee. Can you remember as far back as last June when we had the Queen's Jubilee? Um, they were there very briefly at St Paul's Cathedral. Then, of course, we had... Um, Harry and Meghan uh, in the UK when they're just after the Queen died as well. No one's going to disrespect Harry and Meghan at a time like that. I suppose that it is a big question. What would the public reaction be? There were certainly a couple of boos for them at St Paul's Cathedral um, last summer. I think it's more to do with the reception they would get with the royal family and the concern in the royal family that, you know, after Netflix and everything that Harry and Meghan have filmed behind the scenes, would this be material that they would use, you know, at a later date for another book or another TV series? And there's a lot of rawness, shall we say, in the family at the moment. So how would the king feel? Sad that he's not going to be with the grandkids on an occasion like this or relieved that she's not going to be there? Well, look, ask any granddad, would he like his grandchildren there? And the answer would be yes, of course. I think the king will be relieved that both of his sons, William and Harry, will be there. Let's, let's remember, this is an historic occasion. We haven't had a coronation since 1953. Uh, this is a big... Uh, big event. But, I mean, whilst the king might be happy that his two sons are there, you've got to think about what's the relationship going to be like between Camilla, the, the queen, as she'll be known uh, by then, and mm. Harry, given everything that Harry said in those interviews about the, you know, quote-unquote wicked stepmother. What about William? How's he going to react to his brother being there? And I think it's, mm. you know, so much focus is going to be then on those shots of the two of them together and what the relationship or atmosphere uh, is like. I think the concern is it will be a bit of a distraction. I think, however, Harry would keep quite a low profile when he will be here. No big balcony appearance, for example. Yeah. Well, that's a really interesting one, isn't it? We know that he's going to be there very briefly, a, a pop-in, pop-out situation. Um, what will he do on the day? Will it be obvious uh, that he's going to be taking a back step? Well, we know what he won't do, uh, and that is that he won't be in the coronation procession. That's the big sort of event when uh, the king and queen, as they will be, uh, will be in that massive gold state coach, heavy, travels at walking pace, and it will go from Westminster Abbey back to Buckingham Palace. Members of the royal family will follow that procession. Harry will not. And then members of the family will appear on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Harry, we don't expect him to do that. Now, why you think well, Harry's fifth in line to the throne at the moment? Why wouldn't he be there? But, of course, the palace has always got this excuse as he's not a working member of the royal family uh, like the others. So that's the, a good reason and an easy reason for them uh, to exclude him. And I think Harry would, as well, wouldn't want to detract uh, from his father's coronation. It's a big event. Big, big event. We'll see you, hopefully. You know, it still distracts. The fact that well, he's that, not yeah. there. You Either know, or. It's, I mean, it's, it's going to be distracting. It is. No matter sad. what decisions have been made on the day. Exactly. Thank you, Chris.